This is Michael Hart of Elam Counseling Services, and I want to share with you today seven ways to survive in a dysfunctional relationship. Maybe you're in this relationship and things are not going well. Maybe it's a gambling addiction, sex addiction. Maybe you are in a relationship with a narcissist, or maybe there's some other form of dysfunction. But whatever the dysfunction is, here are seven tips that I have given to hundreds of couples that I have counseled over many years of counseling and these tips I find are very helpful for surviving a dysfunctional relationship. The first and very important tip is that if you're in a dysfunctional relationship it's very important not to go into denial. Yes maybe your dreams have been shattered, maybe the knight in shining armor has turned out to be your worst nightmare but whatever it is accept the facts. Don't cover up. Don't try to pretend that it's better than it is because this will only lead to things getting worse. The second tip is avoid isolation. Things only get worse when you're isolated from others, when you're isolated from family and friends. So if you're in a relationship in which there is this function. Make sure that you involve yourself with others outside the relationship. And if you don't have people around you who can keep that balance, who can say to you, yes, this is bizarre, this should not be happening, you can actually get to a place where you start accepting uh, very dysfunctional things as being normal. The third tip for surviving in a dysfunctional relationship is that you need to avoid the drama. Yes, if the person that you're with flares up, if you try to talk about your needs, remain calm. Because if you get caught up in the drama and you get caught up in the throwing things or in the shouting at the tip of your voice, what eventually happens is that this person will turn it back on you and say, you are, you are doing worse than I am doing. Look at how angry you got. Look at the things you did. You should be ashamed of yourself. So speak up, but remain calm. If you have to walk away and come back to the situation, do it. But don't get caught up in the drama. And the fourth tip for surviving in a dysfunctional relationship is don't enable the person. Don't try to to supply their their dysfunction. In other words, for example, if you're with someone who is a gambling addict and they've gambled away the money that they have to pay an important bill and then they can't pay that that they can't make that car payment, don't step in and make that car payment for them because by so doing you're subsidizing the dysfunction. That same person that you're helping out is saying to you, it's not as bad as you think. So if you don't allow things to hit rock bottom, this person is going to keep thinking that situation is better than it really is. And the fifth tip for surviving in a dysfunctional relationship is set boundaries. Without boundaries, things turn into chaos and uh, things that should not be happening becomes commonplace. For example, one boundary could be, if you hit me, I will call the police. Or if you engage in, in that relationship with that person one more time, I will not be staying in this relationship. So, if you don't set boundaries, then this person will walk all over you. So set boundaries for yourself. Whether it's, it, it be boundaries about your personal safety, boundaries about the kind of disrespect that, that you will allow for yourself, you, you will allow this person to perpetrate towards you. Boundaries are very, very important. And the sixth step for surviving in a dysfunctional relationship is attend to self-care. If you don't get self-care, you will burn yourself out. You will have a nervous breakdown. And then you won't be any good to yourself and this person that you are in a relationship with, this dysfunctional person, and end up just walking away from you. So attend to self-care. Do not sacrifice yourself for, for this relationship. 
it might mean that you might need to set up a, a, an exercise routine or you might you know, attend to proper eating. Spirituality can also be a very important part of self-caring. And so it's important not to be so immersed in this relationship that you lose yourself. And the seventh and final tip for surviving in a dysfunctional relationship is do not allow yourself to be bullied or manipulated. An example of bullying is you try to talk about what's not going right. You try to talk about it and the person raises his voice and then you become quiet and you withdraw and you never approach that subject again. That's an example of being allowing yourself to be bullied. So if you if in this scenario you raise your concern about what you saw and this person raises his voice and things is getting out of control, then you can back away from the situation, but don't forget to go back and talk about it when things are calm. Because if you allow this this emotionalism to stop you from talking, then things will never be addressed and uh, and avoid also manipulation because you may start talking about something that's not going well the person goes away and then brings you flowers and you go wow this is so wonderful and so now you you're so happy that you have gotten these these dozen roses but the situation is still not resolved uh, people who are dysfunctional are sometimes very good at manipulation. So do not allow yourself to be manipulated. So there you have it. The seven tips on how to survive in a dysfunctional relationship. If you found these tips to be helpful, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe link in this, on this screen. And share this, this video with a friend. So until next time, this is Michael Hart of Elon Counseling Services thanking you very much for watching this video and wishing you all the best in your relationships.